Hey, what's going on guys? Another new release video today featuring 2223 Trillo 3, Trillo 3, Trillo 3, Trillo 3 Trilogy from Upper Deck featuring six packs per box and four cards per pack and one autograph or memorabilia card. So not quite uh, on release day uh, for a multitude of reasons. First and foremost, uh, it just takes me forever to get these things done and edit them with a family and a job and all that stuff. Two, this is actually my second box. The uh, first box I tried to make a video of yesterday, we had a plumber upstairs working on the kitchen sink, which happens to be literally like right above my head. It's like right over that way. Uh, just too much noise from that. I tried to get it done. So I opened the box, did the video, went to edit it way too loud way too much background noise so i went and grabbed a uh, another box so this is box number two uh this was 169.95 from the local card shop seems to be what you find them online around give or take five ten bucks around there so, so this is the second or the re triumphant return of trilogy wearing its uh, st patrick's day colors i don't know who picked this game maybe it was supposed to come back out back in march originally and the latest pushback i don't know interesting choice of colors anyway they missed last year some of the cards the 21 22 rookie premieres which are a big card in here uh, came out in extended 21 22 extended so it's an interesting sort of half dual rookie class like all the 22 23 rookies are in here obviously three on the cover there three of the big ones on the box there but not all 20 like the, it's not a fully fledged out 21 22 rookie set in here for example Caulfield has five cards in here no autographs whereas a guy like Byfield has autographs has 13 cards so it just seems like whatever they had done last year when they canceled it they just sort of threw it all in here all rookies though I'm curious if some of the vet content is gonna be an easter egg in this year's extended which is coming out like next month wouldn't surprise me if that was the case I guess we'll see but anyway like i said 169.95 so what are you actually getting in here well you're getting a hundred veterans base set uh you get a ton of rookies in here this is definitely a full-on rookie crop especially with last year's rookies in here there's lots of rookies in here uh, but 100 base set the interesting thing about trilogy is despite the fact that you know three is literally in the title there isn't that much stuff in here that actually plays on that three theme there's a few cards that do it but not a lot else it's kind of a it's kind of a weird theme to have anyway it doesn't really make sense but they, they should actually probably take some of the cards this set and ice and combine them and i'll explain why when i get to the cards that should clearly be in ice that are in here uh, but for starters you get the 100 card base set like i said it's tiered so at least there's a three three tiered base set so level one level two level three you'll see that a lot on the rookie premiere cards as well but you can get some pretty nice uh, uh, low numbered parallels materials cards, autos and relics, things like that. So there's, there's some nice parallels in here of the base set. Those rookie premieres I was talking about are also the other nice another nice card in here. It adds another 150 cards so there's lots of rookies in here. So these are the same thing. There are three levels to them. There's the level one which is common, number to 999. Level two is uncommon, number to 499. And then the level threes are rares. Those are 299 and those are of the 50 top rookies. So you can also get, uh, of course, autograph parallels of all of these. Uh, so there's rookie premiere autographs which are, which are also tiered in rarity and they start at 440 on copies or less so level one two and three of those and then there's rookie premier relics also numbered to 499 or less so tiered as well tiers kind of on everything then we got these for the inserts there is a uh, rookie renditions which are one in five packs so you're going to get at least one of those in here usually two from what i've seen just a different rookie insert usually numbered then there's uh, trilogy generations another insert that features past present and future stars those are one in four basically says on the card if they're a vet a current veteran it's like a retired vet a current vet and then a rookie triptychs which are one in 20 that's a triple image insert that are uh, printed on nice thick 140 stock and there's rookie photo variants as well so those are both one in 120 so pretty hard to hit those now as far as why i think that some of these cards should be just included with ice like i actually believe this this set and ice should be rolled up into one and just called ice just call it trilogy it should be like how spx and black are one set i think that's what they should do with this one because there's so much overlap it doesn't make sense uh so you've got the frozen in time plexiglass cards it literally says frozen in the name why is that not in ice um those are some one of ones of those numbered versions etc so those are a plexiglass card they're plastic but they call them plexiglass then you have rookie premier also on the plexiglass rookie premier version of those that's new this year those are numbered out of 299 and then there's also a 2005 2006 rookie premier retro that's not plexi that's just a card but that's numbered out of 99 and that's an old nba card design from 0506 so uh, as far as the other autograph stuff that's in here uh there is a auto focus which uh, again is like an ice themed card uh that's one in 480 the auto focus rookies are one in 1200 there's chris Crystallized signatures, also a plexiglass card, one in 480. Then scripted Hall of Fame plaques, five cards numbered to 25. That one might be on plexi. I'm not entirely sure about that one. So uh, one of the mainstays of Trilogy is the signature puck series. Those are in here again. They're like a plastic 
puck on the card that uh, has the signature on it. Those are on card. I should mention that almost all the autographs in here are uh, sticker autos, except for the plexiglass ones are on card, and the puck ones are uh, on the puck, so that's an on card auto. And there's also the signature puck stoppers, which uh, I think is new this year. That's one in 360. Of course, it's goalies, puck stoppers, so that one's new. There's also Ricky Renditions autographs and Trilogy, Trilogy Generations autographs, also serially numbered. So basically, every card that's in here has an autograph version of it. So for some relics that are in here, uh, one of the other rare triple three themed cards is the honorary triple swatches those are numbered 35 or less so that have those have three relics for one player then there's the triple relics which are one relic for each of the three players on the card those are also numbered 35 or less so those are nice cards um i don't know if there's auto autograph versions of those ones those might be one of the rare ones that doesn't have an auto version but uh, there's also rookie renditions relics which are one in 30 and the trilogy generation relics which are numbered to 99 so so four cards per pack six packs per box this is 20 boxes per case for the box average you're going to get one autograph card one memorabilia card that's nice last year i believe it just said two hits so you didn't know what you were getting now you know it's one auto it's one relic you're either getting one plexi one numbered parallel of 99 or less ricky your photo variant or ricky triptych's card um so you don't necessarily guarantee a plexi i've seen a couple openings where the guys get two plexis but like i said i have opened the box the box opened before this didn't have a plexi in it so not they're not guaranteed three ricky renditions or trilogy generations inserts three numbered parallels and three numbered base set rookies of level one two three common uncommon or rare so i to point out if you're watching this far uh, i'm giving away all the contents of the first box um i will obviously show the hits from that box at the end it was a okay box not bad not great but uh decided i'm going to give that one away so if you want to be entered in to win those ones usual youtube kind of thing make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel and head on over to my instagram which is at the moment but just duster donnybrook there on uh, instagram follow me on there as well to be entered to win the cards from that and not only that but i'm going to give away this box as well so both boxes will be giving away so make sure you enter for a chance to win i'll give two winners uh the contents of each box to each of the winners so there we go so yeah so kind of a kind of a confusing set as far as the plexiglass stuff goes I don't know why it's an ice, but I guess I just couldn't think of enough stuff to make Trilogy worthwhile. Ice comes out, assuming it doesn't get pushed back next month. We'll see the stuff that's in ice and see how maybe there's just enough stuff in ice. They don't need the plexi. I, I just feel like it should be. They have enough sets. I think they could combine a couple. I hate to say this, but it would give them more opportunity to overprint the crap out of it because you get more parallels and more variety. You can print more boxes. I don't want to give Upper Deck any ideas on that front, but I'm sure they'd do it. Interesting cover. It's interesting to see three three rookies on the cover. is cool. And, uh, you know, nice to have a break from McDavid. I love McDavid, but he doesn't have to be on every single product. He's on every, like, Series 1 all the time. So he'll be on next year's Series 1 as well. So we'll see if Bedard makes an appearance on it, on his rookie year. But so Boldy, why he gets singled out of the three guys on the box gets to be on the cover. I don't know, but he does. All the videos I was watching, all the, the two plexi hits, if there were any, were on the top. Lots of guys were pulling hits off the top. My other box, there weren't the hits weren't on the top, so I don't know. Just in case, though, I'll put the two top ones aside as well, just in case. All right, I got to focus on the pack odds there. Kind of thing you're into. All right, pack number one, 2223 Trilogy. So like I said, the first box was okay. So we'll see how this one fares, comparatively speaking. So there's your base, very Trilogy-esque. Kind of always look like similar to this. So don't change it up too much. Pretty simple back. You get your five or six years of stats there. So pretty standard stuff. So you got Sid. Good base card to have. There's a line A. All right, so we got a numbered card there, so we'll pull that out after. Let's go on over this one. So there's our first rookie renditions of Samuel Fajimo. There are numbered versions of this. This is just a non-numbered base one. He's a rookie, so he's only got the one-year stats there. Fogamo, Fajimo. I don't even know actually how you say it. I always say Fog Fogamo. I've heard Fogamo a lot, so anyway. Decoy, and behind that, we got a Lucas Reichel. That's a nice card. So level 2 out of 299, so 240 to 299. So very good rookie. Chicago tanking for Bedard, which they ended up getting, much to my dismay. He spent some time in the minors, but he's he's an absolutely solid rookie. And now he'll see, you know, if he plays with Bedard, a guy like Bedard can really inflate his teammates' numbers. So his stock has risen here now that Bedard's been drafted by Chicago, which kind of makes me want to puke, but it is what it is. And like all boxes, it's going to be pretty hard to get your money back on this stuff at 169 Should probably be like 130 Everything's just overpriced. There's Kucherov there. All right, let's do... Yeah, I'll do the number card on the back here. Oh, okay. Well, there's Braden Schneider. That'll be our uh, our relic or materials hit for the box. Level 1 rookie there. Napkin patch. Red. I'm going to take blue. would be better for the Rangers, but... 105 out of 499. Schneider's definitely an underrated rookie defenseman. He's really he's really good. Solid stay-at-home guy. Not super flashy, but he'll be a very good player for the Rangers for a long time. One of the rare guys they've actually uh, developed reasonably well. And then red Ricky renditions of Isaac Ratcliffe. 386 out of 799. So a whole bunch of colored parallels of these as well. Uh, the depth guy there for the Flyers. The hits definitely aren't necessarily on the very top, despite what I've seen a lot. Right, we have a plexiglass card here by the look of it, so... I'm happy I got this. The first box, I didn't get a Plexi, so I wasn't able to show that on video. Turns out it didn't matter, but I want, I want to show one of the Plexi cards, so I'm glad we got that. So hopefully it's an auto, because the Plexi cards are uh, on card, so... 
Take it from the back. There's Stamkos. Jack Hughes. Lodge base. McKinnon. All right, so we got a numbered card first. So we got a hurdle there. So we got Nikita, Oto Nikita Kodiak. Nikita Kodiak, so that is a level one again. So it's a 9.99. So it's basic rookie premieres. So is it an auto? So it's a rookie premieres. So that's these are new this year. The rookie premieres Plexi to 2.99. And Jack Quinn. All right, not a bad card at all there either. Nice Plexi rookie premiere. So did they call them Plexiglass? It's just plastic. They're not actually glass. Which is probably why they call them plexi and not plexiglass. Very purposeful when they say that. They don't call them plexiglass because they're not glass. They're just plastic. But. Win on the uh, Ricky Premier. is very nice. That's a very nice card. We'll take that for sure. Whoever wins this box. Very nice Ricky Premier for you there. And the nice thing is that that's just basically an insert. Doesn't really count as a hit because uh, technically the hits are the materials card in the auto. So we still got the auto coming here. All right. So here's our first trilogy generations. So Pecorine passed. Barely, barely in the past. Could almost be present, but just barely passed. On the back, you got Romagnosi. So Preds, pe Preds pack. Is this a Pred here too? Nope. So we've got Bobby Brink. This is another numbered rookie rendition. This is uh, 72 of 399 on the blue parallel. All right. This is a. Th this has got some kind of a thick card in it. So we're going to... That'll be a... Could be, a could be an auto with a... Or a, it's a thick card. So it's some kind of materials card, I would imagine. But we don't have our auto yet. So we'll save that one. That could be a good one. Matias Samuelson, then you got Mike Richter. That's a cool card. I love the vet content, like the retired vet content. So cool. Richter's awesome. Then you got Jake Gensel. And we got a rookie renditions of Matias Michelli. Another good rookie there. 4 7 of 7 99. He's really good at the end of the season. Yeah, he's going to be a solid player for Arizona or wherever the heck they end up going when they're not in Arizona anymore. All right, so we got a thick boy in here. So it should be some kind of an auto materials card or an auto patch card. So. Back here, so Joe Valeno, and then we got a Shane Pinto. It's a nice card. There's a red parallel of the base. So that's two thirty two ninety nine. Pinto's awesome. All right, and so who do we got here? So like I said, this is a thick card. It's be a Ricky Renditions Materials card, I think. Possibly, well, it'll be an auto for sure, but it's possible that it's just a thick auto as well. So that is uh, Dylan Sandberg, patch auto. Nice. That's a nice card. Uh, so thirty of forty nine there on the patch auto. So like I said, stickers. Three color patch, yeah, just barely a three color patch. All right, so good solid defenseman for Winnipeg. Not a lot of flash, uh, but yeah, one of the, one of the better better rookies. You know, he plays all. He's on the team full time. Not one of these guys that's bouncing back and forth with the minors. So too bad it's on the sticker, but hey, we'll take a patch auto, a rookie patch auto, any day of the week. So good box, good box. So admittedly, this is better than my first box, but I'll show you the hits from the first box, which I'm also giving away. So whoever wins this box, you're winning a nicer box. But I'll show you the first box. All right, so here's box number one. It's just base. Whoever wins this, if you want the base, let me know. If not, it doesn't matter to me. I'll keep it. So a couple of the rookie renditions inserts, Perot, Tracy, and a uh, Brendan Schneider future on the uh, generations. Some of the numbered cards here. we got this nice veteran content in the first box. We had a nice Danny Heatley to six ninety nine. Uh, they did get his position wrong. They put right wing on there. What are you going to do? You got a Philip Hollander, level one to nine ninety nine. Got a Braden Tracy. That one's to six ninety nine. So level two. Then we got uh, Mark McLaughlin on the... Uh, Blue to 399 and a nice Cam Neely kick his ass sea bass 56 to 299. I love that card. That's an awesome card. And then our two lowest numbered cards here. We got a nice generations of Stutzla, which it's hard to see, but that one's numbered to 75. So 3075. And a nice low numbered Marco Rossi, 18 of 99. So on the level two trilogy of Marco Rossi, another great rookie. So not too bad there. And then the auto was a uh, Isaac Ratcliffe. Yeah, it's an okay auto. Just a base auto, essentially. And, uh, yeah, depth guy for... And then the nicest card in the box was a nice rookie Owen Power, 439, 499. So not a bad, not a super great hit, just a basic jersey swatch. Worn by the feature player, not game used, but it is what it is. So All right, so it's box number one. So that's all going to some lucky person. Again, make sure you uh, enter by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and all right, just go over the hits from the second box here. This Pinto is a nice card. Red, red goes almost jersey match. Like the red on red, that's a nice looking card. So the 299, the Pinto... The Michelli, the 499, the Bobby Brink. Again, okay, rookie. 399, mid pack for sure. Okediuk there to 999. So a, that's the base rookie premieres. These are the ones that you saw in extended a lot. And then you got the Isaac Ratcliffe, who's a auto we got in that first box. And then uh, the Lucas Reichel, that's a pretty nice card to 299 there. And the Plexi, which was a, I would say, nice surprise. Not a surprise because I know they're in there, but uh, hitting Jack Quinn on that is very nice. That's a pretty nice card. So I like that card a lot. Another nice uh, rookie defenseman on the uh, 5499. Another nice swatch there. 
Again, only worn by the feature player, so I mean, they wore the jersey for 13 seconds probably, but take it, still a nice little swatch, and then a RPA, which always, who doesn't love hitting an RPA, that's for sure. So a low-numbered RPA of Dylan Sandberg, so if you're a Winnipeg fan, you're a Winnipeg fan, like, subscribe. Try and win yourself this card along with the other ones. So there we go. All right, so there we go. So overall, not a bad product. Uh, I do sort of feel, again, like it's the the Plexi cards and the Frozen Time and all that stuff just belongs in ice. Again, maybe after I open ice in like two weeks, whenever it comes out, maybe I'll feel differently. I don't know, but just the way it strikes me. So other than that, for the money, it's an okay set, as always, overpriced. Uh, quality control seems fine. It's a nice base set. Uh, inserts... For the most part, the inserts are kind of blah. Like those rookie renditions cards and the trilogy generations cards kind of don't do anything for me. But um, the plexiglass are cool. Take that. They're a neat card. Although I, again, could not be in the set. Take it or leave it. Some on-card auto, which I think the on-card auto content is really the reason I would buy this over, uh, like, say, Artifacts, which is a similar price point. The fact that you can potentially get on-card stuff in here would make me lean to more towards trilogy. And the cards that actually do go on the trilogy theme with the three cards, I think are nice as well. That's kind of a cool card. You don't really get that in Artifacts or any of the lesser sets like Synergy, whatever. Right, so good, good to have it back. But uh, I think it'd be combined with some other stuff. But you can say that about a couple sets with with them. So there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Uh, to be entered into the contest for the two boxes, please like and subscribe, which you should do anyway. And uh, follow me on uh, Instagram for an extra entry. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.